coffee, Grandfather. No, I sent Peter. My test has been bad for the last few days, and it affects me to walk the steep hill. Peter again? But that cost three cents. Where are they to come from with only one tourist in the house for over two months? That's true enough, but it seems that Nat might go get the bread. That would ruin the credit of the house entirely, but she would never done anything else. Even you, Adele? Even I am tired, though I have held out long yet. Yes, you have, and you were still human when Teresa and Nat cautioned you. You've had to sit in the house like Cinderella while I've had to take care of the services, the fires, clean and sweep, and do the errands. You were tired. How should it be with me then? But you mustn't be tired. You have three daughters who are unprovided for, and the dowry you have wasted. Doesn't it seem as you heard the sound of clanging and rumbling down towards Sully? If the fire is broken up, they have lost. The wind will blow soon. The lake tells me that. Have you paid the fire insurance on our house? Yes, I have. Otherwise, one has got the last mortgage. How much is there left in mortgage? A fifth of the fire insurance policy. But you know how prop properties drop in value when the railroad passed their gates and went to the east instead? So much the better. Adele, will you put out the fire on the stove? Impossible. I can't until the coffee bread comes. Well, here it is. No bread, but a bill? Two, three. The banker said he wouldn't send any more bread until he's paid. And then I went by the butchers and the grocers and they shoved these bills at me. Oh God in heaven, this is the end for us. But what's this? Some candles that I bought from the mess for my dear little man. You can afford to buy such things? With my tips, yes. Don't you think it's a million to not stretch out my hand when a traveler leaves us? Can't you grant me the only contentment I possess? So let me enjoy my sorrow one time each year to be able to live in the most beautiful thing life ever gave me? If he'd only lived until now, you'd see how beautiful he'd be. It's very possible that there's truth in your irony. However, as I remember him, he is not as you are now. Will you be good enough to greet Mr. Antonio? He's coming now to have his coffee without bread. Oh, if only Mother were living. She always found a way when you stood helpless. Your mother had her good qualities. Although you only saw faults. Mr. Antonio is coming. If you leave now, I'll have a talk with him. You would do better to go out and borrow some money so that the scandal would be averted. I can't borrow a cent after borrowing for ten years. Let everything crash at once. Everything? Everything? It would only be the end. The end for you, yes, but you never think of us. No, I never thought of you. Never. Do you begrudge us on our bringing up? I was only answering a just reproach. Go now, and I'll meet the storm. As usual. As usual. Huh. Hello, Mr. Durant. Mr. Antonio, you've already been out for a walk? Yes, I've been down to the cold where I saw the production department. Now some coffee will taste particularly good. It's needless to say I would pay me for having to tell you this, but on the account of insufficient supplies at our house, can no more continue to do business? How is that? To speak plainly, we are bankrupt. But, my goodness, Mr. Durant, is there no way of helping you out when I hope it's just a temporary embarrassment? No, there is no possible way out. This house has been so completely undermined that I'd rather the crash then we come to live in a state of anxiety, day and night, expecting what must come. Granting that, until finance is straight out, we must have bread in the house. Allow me to stay a month longer, and I'll pay my bill in advance. No, thank you. We must stick this course, even if it leads us into the lake, and I don't want to continue in this business, which doesn't bring bread. Nothing but humiliations. Just think about last spring when the house had been completely empty for three months. Then, at last, an American family came. On the morning after arrival, I ran across their son catching hold of my daughter on the stairs. It was Teresa. He was trying to kiss her. What would you have done in my case? I don't know. I know what his eyes a father should have done. But father-like, I didn't do it. But I do know what to do the next time. On the count of that very thing, it seems to me you should think very carefully about what to do and not leave your daughter some chance. Mr. Antonio, you are a young man for some inexplicable reason has won my regard. Whether these brands are not, I only ask one thing of you. Don't form any opinions about me individual or about my conduct. Mr. Durant, I promise that if you answer one question of mine, are you Swiss born or not? I am a Swiss citizen. Yes, I know that. I was saying, were you born in Switzerland? Yes. I asked only because it interests me. Nevertheless, as I must believe my pension to be, uh, as your pension to be closed, I want to pay what I owe. Though it is only ten dollars, I cannot leave a bay pill unpaid. I can't be sure this is really a debt. I said, don't keep the accounts. But if you see me, you shall hear from me. Now I shall go get the brain. Afterwards, we'll find out. Oh, here you are, Antonio. I thought I heard the old man. Yes, he went to go get the coffee bread, he said. Hadn't he done that already? How beautiful you are today, he said. The back shaft is the coming. I am such a trap into the bargain. I've said it for a whole month, but never, ever get a live one. 
Have you seen Mimi around? That damn cat? He's around early and late because they have been spared. Oh, you must speak beautifully about the absent. And remember, he who loves me loves my cat. Adele! Adele! Her highness demands so loudly. Her highness demands some milk for her cat and a piece of cheese for your rat. Go get them yourself. Is that the way to answer to her highness? The answer fits such talk. And besides, you deserve it for showing yourself before a stranger with your hair not combed. Oh, aren't we all old good friends here? Ad um, Antonio, go speak nicely to Adele, and then you'll get some milk for Mimi. Well, aren't you going to mine? No. What kind of way to speak is that? Do you want a taste of my riding whip? <laughs> Impudence! What's that? Oh, what's that? Are you trying to remind me of my position? My debt? My weakness? No, I only want to remind you of my position. My debt. My weakness. Now listen, good friends, what's all this foolishness for? Be nice, and then I'll get you some very nice coffee. You are tired of me, Antonio, and you're thinking of giving me up. You mustn't cry. It'll make your eyes so ugly. Oh, if they are not as beautiful as a nest? So it's a nest now. All joking aside, isn't it about time we sat down and had our coffee? You'd make a charming married man, not being able to wait a moment for his coffee. Oh, what a lovable fairy lady you would be, who growls at her husband every time she has made a blunder. Hmm. You must have See, there's a net. Head dress so many. Oh, yes, a net is so extraordinary in every respect, and she also has a prerogative of being older than I am. Get to the point, I'm Oh, now, now, be good. Now, Teresa. What's this? What? Did I see right? What did you see? I saw that you allowed a strange gentleman to kiss you. Oh, oh that's a lie. Ha have I lost my sight or do you dare lie to my face? Oh, you who so often talk about lying? You who tell uh, us and the whole world that you were born in Swiss, although you were born in America? Who said that? Mother said so. Mr. Antonio, as our account is settled, I'll ask you to leave this house immediately or else. Or else. Choose your weapon. I wonder what sort of defense to put up other than the hairs. If I didn't burn my stake, I should take the gun I used in the last war. Oh, yes, you have been at war. You have surely deserted. Mother said that too. I can't fight the dead, but I can not fight the living. Ah! What you are doing? Goodbye, Mr. Durant. Keep my contempt and my ten dollars. I curse all your money, scamp. Don't go! Goodbye, Mr. Durant. And I hope you missed the last rat from your sinking ship. So that's the way that you treat our guests? No wonder this house has gone to pieces! Yes, that's the way. Such guests. But tell me, Teresa. Tell me, my beloved child. Tell me if I saw one just now, or you just told a falsehood. What? You know what I mean. It isn't the thing itself, but it is a matter of whether my senses can interest me. Oh, talk about something else. Tell us rather what we are going to eat and drink for today. For that matter, it's a lie. He did not kiss me. It isn't a lie. In heaven's name, didn't I see it happen? Oh, prove it. Prove it? With two witnesses or a policeman? Annette, my child, will you tell me the truth? How oh, I can see anything. That's a proper answer. Porter should never accuse one sister. How like your mother you are today, Annette? Don't say anything about mother. She should be living if the day as this. Here's your milk. What happened to the bread? Nothing, my children. It will continue to come as it always has been up to the present. You shall not have anything. You who throw away money so that your children are compelled to starve. Did he throw away the money? The wretch? He should have been put in the lunatic asylum one time mother said he was right for it. See, here's another bell that came by way of the kitchen. Fudge again, or smoke tobacco. My dear children, for this tobacco didn't cost me any more than that water, for it was given to me six months ago. Don't vex yourselves needlessly. Well, at least you shouldn't waste the matches. If you only knew, Teresa, how many matches I have wasted on you to get up and get up and I see you throwing off the bedclothes. If you knew, Annette, how many times I've secretly given you water when you cried for thirst, because your mother believed it was harmful for children to drink. Oh, that was all so long ago. It was simply your duty, as you have said yourself. It was, and I fulfilled my duty, and a little more too. Well, continue to do so, or who knows what will become of us. Three young girls left helpless and friendless with nothing to live on. Do you know what want can drive one to? That's what I said 10 years ago, but no one heed me. And 20 years ago, I predicted that this moment would come, but I haven't been able to prevent its coming. I feel like a lone brakeman sitting on an express train, seen to go towards an abyss, 
but I haven't been able to get to the engine valve to stop it. And now you want thanks for landing us in the abyss? No, my child. I only ask that you be a little less unkindly, for you have cream for the cat, but you begrudge milk for your father, who's not eaten for so long. Oh, so it's you who has begrudged milk for my cat? Yes, it's I. It is he. Don't you pig? Oh, think if it had only been poison. Alas, it only had been me. Oh, you who so often talk about shooting yourself, but have never done it. Then why do you shoot me? That's a direct approach. Do you know why I haven't done it? To keep you from running into the lake. My dear children, say something else in kind that fits like hearing music. Tunes that I recognize from the good old times. Stop such useless talk now and do something. Do something! Do you know what will happen if you leave us in this shape? You will go and prostitute yourself. That's what your mother always said she'd do when she spent the house keeping money on lottery tickets. Silence! Not a word about our dear beloved mother. Put out the fire. The windstorm is coming. No, the wind is not coming. Put out the fire. If the fire catches here, we'll get nothing from the insurance. Put out the fire. I don't understand you. Just obey me, do as I say. Go on and shut the windows, children, and give me a loving look as you always used to do. For, I, for now, I'm going away to get you money. You can get money? I think I have a life insurance that I think I'm going to realize on. How much can you get for it? $600 if I sell it and 5000 if I die. Now tell me, Teresa, are you so attached to Antonio that you'd be quite unhappy if you didn't get him? Oh, yes! Then you must marry him if he really loves you. But you mustn't be unkind him, for then you'll be unhappy. Goodbye, my dear beloved child. But you mustn't die, father. You mustn't. Would you grudge me going to my peace? No, not if you wish it upon yourself. Nonsense, my child. Because you. That's why I loved you most. Why? I don't know. But go run and shut the windows. Here, your matches, Papa. Ah, you child. I have nothing else to give you. You gave me so much joy as a child that you owe me nothing. Go on and shut the windows and just give me a loving look as you always used to do. So so, my child, now all is well. Farewell, Annette. Wait, you're leaving? Yes, I'm going. I don't want to say I'll leave. Yes, I'm going. But of course you're coming back, Papa. Whether he lives for tomorrow, anyways, say farewell. Try to start. You still remember that? Though it's been so long since I bought any children anything. I do in it. Through good and evil, great and small, where you have sown others, gather all. Adele, come. Now you shall hear and understand. If I speak in veiled terms, it is only for you to spare your conscience. Shh. Be quiet. Now the children are up in their rooms. Now you're going to ask me something. You have a life insurance policy. Well, do you have a life insurance policy? No, I had one, but I sold it long ago because I thought some keep irritable when it was due. But I do have a fire insurance. Here are the papers. Hide them well. Now, now you are. Now I'm also going to ask you something. Do you know? Do you know how many uh, mass candles are in a pound? Mass candles at seventy-five cents. There are six. How many candles are there then? Only five. That's because the six is placed very high up and very near. Oh Lord. In five minutes or so, it'll all be burned out. No! Yes, can you see any other way in this darkness? No. Well then, that takes care of my business. Now about another matter. If Mr. Duran passed out of this world is an incendiary, it doesn't matter much, for his children shall know that he lived as a man of honor up to his time. Well then, I was born, well then, I was born in Swiss, but in Hampton, the first 